Hey, welcome back to James's Repair Shop. Uh, now you can see we've got the brake pedals out, heater, or the vent, the left side vents out. Got the firewall cleaned up, and we have it terminated to all the wire harness right down to the console, like I said I was going to do. So that's all unhooked. However, I want to leave that in place for a little bit because I want to trace it all up in the uh, power roof, uh, sequential, turn signal, uh, motor, and all that stuff. So I'm not going to take that out just yet, but what I am going to work on, I'm going to start right here on this side, getting this uh, sail window out. And then I'll go over and do the other sail window. And then I'll take the package uh, tray off the back. All right, hang in there. I'll get this turned around and uh, we'll go at it. Okay, getting set up for this uh, panel, interior panel and the package tray, or not package tray, <laughs> interior panel and sail window assembly. Uh, I've never had one of these out before, so it's a journey for me as well for you, if you've never done it. So, um, there's a screw there, these are all Phillips, different types, there's, I'm not sure if these are all original, this one looks like it might be down here. There's one missing there. So this is where the armrest went on for the rear. And there were two large Phillips that went in those. I don't have one to show you, but they were larger than these, quite a bit larger. So let's get her out. was just another one of those uh, stainless small stainless tapered dome head screws right there get it out so I don't lose it and then we have the plug for the window switch see if we can get that undone without too much trouble She's coming. There she is. All right. Not much of that. Uh, black or uh, iron oxide, or red oxide, sorry, uh, red oxide primer. She's got a little bit of rust on the bottom of this one. Not rusted through, it's just surface rust. All right, set it aside. I don't think this is a factory piece, but uh, hey, who knows? I would say that probably is though, so we'll get rid of this. Not that I'm saving that, but I would like to save it. What I would like to do is save it for a pattern. Uh, so I'm gonna try not to destroy it. Of course, there's a wire, wire harness that goes into, I don't know, maybe you can see it or not, but the harness goes over to the main harness. And then someone had these, uh, this kind of a insulation and padding in here. Uh, the whole back end was done like that when I took the seat out. It's all coming apart, so it's pretty much garbage. There's a broken clip. Looks like it might have been off a, well, like a slip over clip. Okay, these look like half inch, so I'll get my uh, half inch socket out. Ah, uh, that come off easy. A little extension on the other one there. Find my short extension. There we are. There. Let's 
So half inch, one is a nut. So there's a stud, so I guess that's so you can hang it there and get the other ones in. It's probably reasonably heavy. It's because I think it has all the window motors and everything all in it. Which actually the plug for that's right here. So let's get that apart too while I'm doing it before I get in too deep. That plug seems to be maybe maybe a little bit corroded on the bottom, that one. So it could be a it could be a, a rougher one to get apart. Still reasonably soft, but it's down. It was down in the, in the water and stuff in the dirt, so I'd be shocked if it's clean. <laughs> and it's not clean. It's not too too bad. It's got some green on it. Definitely would need to be cleaned up. If you see that or not, but not bad. Like I mean, they're still the rubber soft on those plugs, so that's nice. That's nice. Um, like I said before, I'm quite impressed with that. All right, so. I don't know what's underneath this that has to come off. It looks like. Uh, so this one's already unhooked on the bottom because the bracket, there's a, there's a bracket that goes there, a 90 degree bracket. And it goes, let me see it. You won't see it, it's all covered in mud and everything. But right here, there's, it goes on and it's broke, it's rusted off. So I'll have to see how the other one is on the other Thunderbird. If not, I'll have to make it. All right, so let's get these bolts off. So I was going to say, uh, not three bolts. Let's see where that gets us. So, star washer and a, and a half inch bolt right there. Put it with the rest of the stuff. Take it off here because, all right, and they are on. These ones here are on slots. So I don't know if I have to take them right off or not just yet. Let's see what's there. Maybe I'll pop this off and pull it out. At least get the paper out of the way so we can see stuff. Like I said, I want to save that paper for a pattern. Oops, that's just a guard. Yeah, so that was easy. Sweet. So just a guard. So put that aside. Nothing special about it. Painted, uh, I would say, gloss black at one time. So now we can get this paper off. Gently. I don't know why I save all this stuff, but hey. You never know. I mean, it's it's an original piece that you can get a, a, a print off of. Anyway, I'll set it aside as well. Now, what do we have in here? Okay, so that was just to get the guard off. And actually, this one here, this one is on, I'm going to save that separately. That nut has an actual, like a, a keyhole slot. So you can pull it up. So you could probably leave that right on that guard, which I'm going to do right now. Just so I don't lose it. These will all get packaged together. All right, it's back with the guard. All right, now I see, like I said before, it's not fastened in by anything, but there's, there's two bolts up there, and I look like half inch. And so they are.
screws right here. They're kind of in the way. They're trim screws. They're for the weather stripping. I don't know if that's going to give me any more room or not, but they have to come out anyway. There's actually four in that weather stripping right there. These little short screws. Flathead, pan, Phillips screws that, that hold this. Uh, there's, a wet, oh, there's a pleat there. There's all this pleat. And the trim that was over top. So I think that'll give me a little more room. So that was good. too much probably weighs 25 pounds I don't know if you can see that or not so there's the this is the bracket rusted off though so the bracket where the 45 would go down to the floor anyway that's that so I'll get that set aside the date on it date code yeah and the other nuts right there, bolts right there. I need to get that saved. So there's one uh, one sail window out. Pretty dirty. It's going to need a restoration in itself. All right, let me set that aside. vacuuming get rid of all the dirt in that area and then I'll bring you in and show you that bracket I was talking about okay there, that's uh, cleaned up. Let's grab the camera here and I'll get you in there. Okay, down in here, where's my little pointer? You can probably see it by now. There's two brackets. This one here, and it goes out to, I'm not really sure where, the, uh, maybe that's where the window sits on it. I'm not sure, because it's only on this one side. I'll have to check on that. But this is the bracket right here that I was talking about that's rusted off. This L, it's a 45 degree, quite a large bracket, with a bolt in it. And I'm not sure what that what purpose of that one is, but I'll have to, I'll look it up in my book. Yeah, you're starting to see where the rust is now on this old car. Back in this corner. It's pretty much the same on the other side. Not a lot different. All right, so let's get this uh, armrest off. We'll work our way around to the other side. Now we're going after the, the armrest. So the armrest, my little pointer out here, it has these, uh, like what looks to be Phillips, large Phillips bolts, Phillips head screws, they're probably bolts. I get them mixed up all the time. I just say whatever comes to my mind. You probably noticed that already. <laughs> just ignore that. Anyway, so there's these large Phillip heads. And then there's uh, some more of these waffle heads up here for the uh, tray. And uh, I don't really know what else is there. I don't think so. So I need to get this set off to get at those sets. These are no problem. So what I want to talk to you a little bit about, um, the tailgate latches on the Ford trucks, uh, a lot of the striker plates and all that, they have this, what looks to be a Phillips, but it's not a Phillips. It's, it's a Phillips style, but it, what it's called is a posi drive. And, they're, and this is what I'm using to take these out with. Now these do look more like a Phillips, not a posi drive, so they're like a Phillips 4 or, or even larger. Probably not larger. I don't, I, the biggest I've ever seen was a 4. So this is a, a posi drive 4, and there's what I use right there. It's a PZ4. Uh, where I make them, 
You can get other ones. I just bought the Wurr ones. I like the Wurr products. And uh, they're different. They're cut different. You'll see the little between the between the splines. You'll see there's another little spline in there. So it's like double cut almost. And then they're flat on top. And they fit in these really nicely. Uh, not so much on these. That's why I'm thinking that these are actually not posi drive. But they'll still it'll still work, hopefully. If not, I'll have to get a. I do have a larger Phillips. I'll grab. I'll have to look for it, but I'll find it. Um, but if you're doing striker plates on a lot of these Fords with, uh, they have that star inside of a star. If that makes any sense to you, because that's what these small splines fit in. That's called a posi drive, and they these work really well if you are taking those out. All right, let's get on with this. Alright, I got the armrest off. Apparently they weren't posi drive. They were just large Phillips. So, uh, all my talk about the posi drive was wasted. Anyhow, someone may find it helpful on uh, other parts of the car. I know the quite sure the striker plates are done in posi drive. But anyway, enough of the posi drive stuff. Shut up about the posi drive stuff already. I'm going to set us up. Uh, start taking off the other side. It's going to be very similar to what I did on the uh, passenger side. So I'm gonna take the driver's side off sail window. So I'm not going to uh, explain what I'm doing there. I'm just gonna put it on time lapse and uh, shoot it just for prosperity. So uh, here we go.
Okay, in case someone missed it and didn't know what I was doing up here, uh, I'm quite sure you understood what was going on, but uh, maybe you didn't. Uh, there's a whole bunch of those little Phillips head screws. And the gasket is, is rotten anyway, so I had to rip it out. It was glued in. The gasket was glued in with like a contact cement. There's screws all along there. And uh, this piece of trim, I, I didn't want to bend the trim, so I slid it off on these, these little sliders. I could feel those underneath. That, that, that's the type it was. For the trim on here, I wasn't sure what they were. Uh, it didn't feel familiar to me underneath. And actually, you can't even really really get under them there because they're hidden so let's have a look underneath and see what they're, what's they're on with uh, <clears throat> aha look they're on with uh, nuts so I would have destroyed that the trim trying to get that off by prying on and you can't it's it's completely boxed in so you, as far as I can see, you have to take this package tray off to get the trim off of it with these nuts. So that's good to know. Uh, no speaker in the, no rear speaker in this car. There's how the uh, Thunderbird tag is put on with these little tin plates, with the little uh, grip plates. Well, that's that. Set that aside. And these little trims here, sorry, I didn't get these. These had a few screws in them, pins. Um, yes, they were screwed down with the rest of it, as you can see. This is the front screw. This is the, this is the right side uh, trim. So there was a screw over there, and a screw there, and a screw there, uh, there. And there, and also, there was a screw underneath on this. Or in the middle, not underneath, but right here, midway, underneath the trim. So the trim does have to get off, to come off to get that off as well. Uh, and this trim here, it is just uh, stapled. This side trim is stapled on, on those wing panels for the pa package tray. So, yeah, and uh, that gasket had to come out. It, it's ruined too, and it's, it's glued down. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, there we go. The package tray's off. Bit of a struggle with those little tiny screws. <laughs> and they aren't very big screws. But there's two different types. There's a, a clip that goes out here over this rubber, like, like so. You see that? And it had uh, this type of screw in it. They're a little longer. And then all the trim screws for the package tray are this size here. And I had trouble with one. Couldn't get it out. Probably my fault for uh, using the drill on it to start with. So I think I'll just continue on using the screwdriver. Seems like the drill just destroys them on the tough ones to get out. And uh, of course there's screws all along. And those... Uh, Little clips, these ones, for the outer trim that I had to slide off. I, I didn't want to bend them, so I slid them off over these clips. But they actually, they go, I don't know, they go through there. They don't seem to hold much. That They hold the trim on to these pieces here. Just like that. And I couldn't, I didn't try these ones. I just slid them off because that was easier. But I tried to get up underneath the trim on the package tray and I, and I couldn't I was worried about uh, denting it so I just went ahead and uh, undid everything but that's that so now I got the both windows out all that uh, clean up a bit around we got a lot of tools in here a lot of mess and I'm gonna tackle I'm gonna document all this uh, Try to document all this uh, wire harness and stuff. Okay, looking better and worse all at the same time. But we're getting down to the bones. And that's what we're after here. Um, so next will be... A do uh, get my fingers out of the way so it doesn't focus on them. I'll be uh, looking after the... Going after... Kind of just documenting the where these wires go and everything. I know it's in the manual. But I just want to 
But you want to do it on on film or video rather, not film. And it looks to be fairly complete back here. It doesn't have a cover over the uh, turn signal box there. That's set up. That may not have been on 65s. Maybe that was something they had to try to quieten them down for 66. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's not there. And the 65 I have in the backyard, the parts car doesn't have a cover over it either. But that doesn't mean they didn't. It just doesn't have one. Let me get this place cleaned up some. Get all the tools put back where they need to be and parts catalog those parts and so I don't lose track of them. I have a bad memory. So let me get this done and we'll pick up on this harness. All right, uh, there she is. Back windows are all out. Two back windows, the package tray and uh, the window assemblies. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it quits for this video right here. Um, this video, I, I went through some of the footage and it's getting long. Next video, I'll be dealing with uh, just documenting this stuff, like going over briefly. Uh, I've got the manuals and stuff. I don't think it's that complicated. As long as I have good uh, video footage and some pictures, I'll be fine. And there's lots of resources out there to draw off of. And I'm going to get rid of all this stuff and I'm going to take the harness out. In the next in the next video will be that and the harness and the carpeting. Finally, I'll get the carpeting out of there. And uh, then it'll be in the back with all the cylinders and all that jazz. Uh, I kind of figured out what this these markings were. Somebody had drawn on here just in a marker. It looks like just to uh, keep track of the relays when they're working on it. And I see there's a, looks like a 26 there, or 21 maybe, I'm not sure. There are a few markings on this old car. That one that was up there on the firewall, the A. And then there was another W, which I, looks like a W, over on that door over there. And I believe that's the paint code, W, for Wimbledon White. I know it's the paint code for Wimbledon White, but I think that's what that uh, is for, what that means. All right. I'm rambling on again, so let me get out this uh, video up to you guys, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot.